Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am currently on route from Ottawa, heading back to Toronto after visiting family for the weekend. And I wanted to test out some brand new products that I recently got from an event with Olay. They are all supposed to be fairly travel friendly from what I've seen and what I've been told about them so far. So I figured why not test them out in the car to see if I can do an entire skincare routine without a sink and without any running water. And we'll see how that goes. So. I've got my bag full of goodies right here. I'm gonna show you what's inside and I'll walk you guys through what each and every single step consists of. And we'll test out and see whether or not this skincare routine is travel and sink free friendly. Apologize preemptively because of the sun situation. You may see my face going like full on blown out with sunlight and then it goes back into shadows. Hopefully it doesn't last for too long, but yeah, this is really bad right now. <laughs> I also apologize preemptively for this filming situation because I've never filmed in a car before. I have like a very makeshift setup on the dashboard using this pad where I'm supposed to put my phone on. And instead I've mounted the camera onto here in hopes that the camera wouldn't slide around. So hopefully this works out. And if it does, maybe I'll try to see it in the future. So let's walk you through the first thing that I'm gonna use today. I was given these Olay Daily Facials 5-in-1 Water Activated Dry Cloths. So because it's water activated and it's a dry cloth, it's not wet. And the only thing you really need is water. So I grabbed a water bottle from my parents' house really quickly before I left. And I believe you just soak it, you just soak the facial cloth in this when you're using it in order to activate it. And this claims to have a 5 one cleansing power of makeup remover, scrub, toner, mask, and cleanser. So that's a lot of claims in there. So let's see if it'll do any of this stuff because I did not bring makeup remover, a scrub, a toner, or a cleanser, this is gonna be my toner. And we're actually gonna be trying a mask in here anyway, so that should work. So let's tie up the hair before we get started with this so that we don't get any of the hair in the way. Okay, so hair is all tied up. Not cute, but that's okay, I'm in the car. The only thing I have on my face right now is my skincare routine that I did this morning and also some SPF that I've applied over top, so there's no makeup on here. I can't truly test out whether or not um, this has makeup removing properties. I'll try to get one some back home with a full face of makeup one day just to see if there are any changes from an in-car routine versus an at-home and a sink routine. It comes in like this little box. I guess it's nice and portable in case you want to be able to have something that isn't going to crush it. And then inside, the actual makeup wipes are in this pink little wrap container. So let's open that up. I don't know if you're supposed to take the entire thing out and then put the makeup wipes in the box or not. I like to travel, so I think I'm going to try to keep them in here the best that I can so that I can keep them in a collapsible bag again the next time I travel. Open them up. There are a total of how many are in here? 33 dry cloths. I don't, I don't know why they put 33 in here. Like, why not a straight 30? Or 35? <laughs> when I first sniff it, I don't smell anything crazy. There isn't like an overwhelming scent. It is kind of sweet. It does say that it has rapeseed extract in it, so maybe that's the smell that I'm getting from this. This wipe has these like perforated holes on it. I guess that's what's gonna give you the scrubbing effect because you're gonna be like rubbing against your face. And at first touch, there's like, there's a little bit of oil on here. I don't know what that is. So let's see how I'm supposed to use this. Wet cloth and massage in hands to activate a luxurious lather. Cleanse face thoroughly, then reuse cloth for final rinse. Dispose of cloth, do not flush. I folded it back up into little four. And I'm gonna put it in my palm and try to pour some water into my palm so that if any of it actually drops, it won't land on my lap or soak anything. Obviously, it landed some on my uh, some hands. So I'm gonna start lathering up. Like it said, probably should take off my glasses too. Lather, lather, lather. Ooh, it's kind of like frothing up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's wash my face with the cloth. All right, so I have stuff all over my face as you guys can see right now. I mean, if it's supposed to be a toner, you usually just like leave it on your face until it dries, so. I'm just gonna leave it on my face until it's dry. <laughs> so we wait. All right guys, so my face is now completely dry. It feels like there's no more residue of the cleanser on it. It's not like tight that you would typically feel whenever you're like, whenever you're finished washing your face, but it feels like it's been cleansed. Like I feel a lot cleaner. We're just gonna put that um, wipe to the side for now because we're gonna apply on a mask and I'm gonna need that to remove my mask later. I'm gonna try out the Olay these new Olay clay stick masks 
and this is the poor detox one so it's neat because these masks actually come in these like roll up glue stick forms so it's really easy for you to travel with you're not like scooping it out of container it's like gloopy everywhere and when i first smell it there's like a very light kind of like fruity citrus scent but nothing too crazy and this is actually quite heavy i don't know if that's because of the plastic that they use for the packaging or if it's just the clay in it itself but i also did want to chat a little bit about the packaging before we start using this as well too the mask itself came in a container like this this was isn't like this and then when i took it out it also had plastic wrapping all around it as well too so i kind of felt like that's a little bit excessive packaging wise and a time when a lot of brands are slowly becoming more thoughtful and eco-conscious this feels like it's a little, a little bit excessive in terms of packaging wise so i straight up would have been fine with this product in its packing plastic packaging wrap with the extra layer of plastic over this just to ensure that it's been fresh and sealed and has been tampered with i really don't think that this box is necessary i think you need to like roll it up a little bit so you just like twist this so let's apply this all over my face i have this little um mirror that comes down from the ceiling here just so i can see because i don't have my glasses on i'm gonna be super blind applying this if i use just the viewfinder of the camera and knowing that i'll probably apply it all over my face so let's apply this Ooh. so at first application the mask is like actually really cooling and satisfying to apply on like it feels nice it's not goopy it rolls on like super easily i literally feel like i'm just drawing on my face which is kind of cool you can draw any sort of shapes that you want it's gliding on really smoothly which is nice and it smells nice as well too I don't like um, skincare like toners and moisturizers that have a lot of scent just because I find that if I'm wearing something all day long, I don't like there to be too much scent because it's overpowering. But if it's stuff like a face mask and I'm only leaving it on for like 10, 15 minutes, then I'm okay with that. Obviously, you can still use your hands to apply it on. I think the whole purpose of creating this type of application is to really prevent having to use your hands so that your hands don't get dirty all the time. So that's the one downside of it. At the same time as well too, I also find it really difficult to get around the crevices of my nose here, like where it kind of curves in just because it's so bulky. So you guys can see there's a little bit of skin that's not completely covered. This side, yeah, there's also a little bit of skin here that I couldn't get it in. I think this product definitely would benefit if the overall surface area upon application is a little bit smaller. I do understand though at the same time that they wanted this product to be wide enough so they can cover your whole face quickly. You're not wasting time. So those are the only things I wanted to mention. Obviously everybody's face is different. So the application for you may work and application for somebody else may not work. I would say 95% of my face, it worked out well. It's just some small minor areas that was really difficult for me to apply onto. I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes. Right now, it's not drying too much. I know a lot of other typical clay masks have this behavior as, as they dry down, your face starts to feel really tight because all the water's evaporating. And then when you smile, you get all those like cracked clay marks. But Olay seems to claim that you can still use your face and maintain all elasticity in your facial expressions with this mask on and it won't crack and it won't dry your skin. And that's a sign that it's not just drying out your skin, but it's only withdrawing the impurities and leaving your skin hydrated. So the one that I got was the Pore Detox. This is the black charcoal. There was another one that I saw there. I think it was like a lighter charcoal color. And that one was more for like a brightening one, I believe. I have already seen online some other influencers in like say US or Europe use one that's like red. And I think there might be one other shade as well too. I can't exactly remember. Fortunately, Canada didn't get those two products released in their line. We only have the two dark charcoal and light charcoal. So we'll just have to do with this. I do definitely want to try the light charcoal one just to see if it's gonna give me similar results and how it feels as well too. I've gotten about another eight minutes to go. 
So let's wait for this to dry down completely and then I'll come back to you with my thoughts closer to the 10 minute mark when I'm supposed to be taking it off to chat a little bit and then I'll take it off with you guys just to see how easy it is to remove the mask. Okay guys, so we're almost up on our 10 minute mark. There are about three minutes left so I wanted to chat quickly about how this mask feels now that it has more or less completely dried down. When I touch it, there are no marks on my hands. So it feels relatively completely dry. It's a little bit tacky still, so I know it's not 100% dry, but it's close enough. And that means it's great timing wise at the 10 minute mark that when you're removing it, you know that it's done its job. Um, elasticity wise, I can still move my face around. It doesn't feel tight. I know sometimes when I'm doing other masks, I eat at the same time too. And it's really gross because as I'm eating, <laughs> the mask kind of cracks and the clay tumbles into my food. Disgusting. Ew. That's nasty. <laughs> Anyways, this mask is not doing that. It's also super light. It doesn't feel like I have a thick layer on my face. It's relatively thin. It moves well. I'm going to check it to see if there are any actual cracks. Inspecting this, I don't see any like major or even minor cracks on this. So it seems like it went well. Stop. <laughs> the mask has been faring well so far. I have about two minutes left and then we're going to go ahead and remove this and see how fresh I feel and if I feel like my skin got a detox from using the detox mask. It's the time to remove the mask and see if it actually did anything for my skin. Okay, so I have the majority of my, my right side of my face and the bottom removed. Um, the wipe was completely filled with the mask and I've used like all sides already. So I'm gonna grab a new one to continue removing this because I need to get the rest of the stuff off my face. But what I have removed so far, skin does feel good. So let's go back to removing more and a face mask and some more water. I think I got almost everything off with the two wipes. I just still have some, a little bit more residue on my face. So I'm gonna use one more wipe to take it off. I'm not gonna put as much water on it this time because I don't want the water to continue spreading the mask everywhere. This probably work, would work a lot better if I was in front of a sink and I could just like rinse it off. But as I'm continuing to add more um, like facial cleanser or toner to my skin, I think it's just like spreading a lot of the product of the mask around even more. So the mask itself definitely can be removed without um, having to have running water in a sink around. But I think I would much prefer using this type of a mask with a sink available so that you can easily rinse off stuff with fresh water as opposed to just like constantly slopping around a, like cleanser with the mask on. So we'll give this one last go with the, my third face wipe and then I'll let you guys know how my skin feels. Oh, I 
also forgot to mention on this side the positives I also like how I like how it smelt and I like that I didn't leave my face feeling too dry afterwards. I didn't feel like I was cracking skin. So those are my pros and I had about like two or three cons. So far the pros outweigh the cons so that's a good sign. So next step on here is to use this brand new face mist that Olay just released. They released two types of face mist at their press release and I got to choose the Ultimate Hydration Essence. This is supposed to be an energizing one with vitamin C and bergamot in it. When I smelled it, it smelled amazing. It was very euphoric, the fresh kind of citrusy scent that it had in it. So I mainly liked that. I also like the aspect that it is energizing. I can't remember if I heard this correctly. So go check it out for yourselves if it's not accurate. But I think it's like caffeine or something in here to really like help energize you. On the back, it claims to be a hydrating mist with vitamin C and bergamot extract. Leaves skin feeling revitalized, refreshed, and energized. It absorbs quickly and refreshes makeup. Leaves skin looking bright. It is oil free, paraben free, no artificial colors and dyes, and no comedogenic, non comedogenic. So I love facial mist. Right now, I'm obsessed with this soothing rose one from Garnier that I spray every single morning and every single night before I finish, um, before I apply it in my moisturizers or serums. So I do like that this is also one that you can apply over your makeup and over your skincare as well too if you need a refresher throughout the day. And the packaging is great. It's super slim so you can really toss this into your bag if you have a big bag. You also just have a crossbody like this. You can definitely still throw it in provided that you don't fill it up with stuff. Mine's currently completely come back right now. But as you can see right now, it is smaller than my crossbody. So it's definitely going to fit into a bag or purse. So let's spray this all over and I'll give you my thoughts. I just sprayed it all over my face. It smells very, very nice and refreshing. I can obviously smell the, um, the citrusy kind of effect. I don't know if it's the bergamot that's giving it that kind of sweetness as well too. It's nice. It's settling into my skin very softly as well too, if that makes sense. I like this spray. It's not like a really strong atomizer where it feels like it's shooting a lot of um, the product at your face right away. It's a very nicely fine diffused mist. I would recommend not holding it too far away. Play around with it as you see fit. Obviously, the closer to your face you spray, the more concentrated it's going to be. And the farther out that you pull, the more dispersed the mist is. But if you don't want to waste too much of the product and have most of it actually land on your face, try to keep it at a relative distance. I think 12 centimeters is good for me. So try it out for yourself. It has almost all completely soaked into my skin so far. I'm gonna give it another like minute or two and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the product. The mist has completely kind of settled all over my skin. It feels really hydrating definitely. It's less tingly than it was before I applied it. So I liked it. It was really quick to dry. It wasn't like too long lasting on my skin and I like that because that means I can speed along with my skincare routine. So next up on the Olay skincare in the car test routine is their brand new Olay Eyes Brightening Eye Cream and it comes in a little container like this. I had the same type of qualms with this product as well too because it is stunning but it also did come with a lot of excess packaging as well too. There's like like two layers of plastic in this. This was originally embedded into here. I think it's very excessive and not necessary. They could have created a small little box. Like look how small this product is besides the rest of the packaging. Like why? Why was this necessary? They could have combined all this down to one little thing instead. And I understand if you need to print out all the instructions in here, but you could have put this into a pamphlet and included it inside the inside the product. And I'm pretty sure you probably could fit at least three products in this box. But otherwise, let's just product and see if it's actually worthwhile to purchase. When I was at the preview, they told me that there's a blue and orange mica that's in this product to really help get that brightening effect. And when you apply it to your skin, it's supposed to really brighten up your eyes and give it a little bit of shimmer. I haven't actually tried this yet, so I'm curious to see how it's gonna look. It has a very similar smell to um, the facial mist that I was just using. So I don't know if that's the bergamot that's coming through. I think there's also vitamin C in this one as well too. But oh, before I go into using this, let's check out the claims in the box. It is supposed to be a multi-benefit eye cream that hydrates skin and brightens the look of eye contours by visibly reducing dark circles for youthful, refreshed looking eyes. When I open new products, I like to really go with the cap first to remove any extra product that's on here. So let's go with that. And remember, always use your ring finger when applying eye products because it's the gentlest. Does it say how much you're supposed to pick up? I picked about this much up. I think, I don't know if that's too much or too little. But dab around here, pick some of that back up, dab on your lower and upper eyelid, go around the contours. I really like to focus on the outer areas of my eyes as well too, the outer corner, just to add as preventative measure for crow's feet because I do not want wrinkles there. I'm too young for them, maybe eventually one day, but you know, preventative measures are better than none. And so I just tap until it all absorbs into your skin. Sticky 
residue really. It just feels moisturized. Like I have lotion on here, which is not bad. This side is all in as well too. I don't feel more awake or energized. Um, let's do a check with the mirror to see how my eyes look and if they're right. After checking the mirror, I don't notice any sort of crazy difference in my skin or on my eyes. They do seem brighter, just a little bit more moist. And I don't know if that's because the mic is reflecting the sunlight at all or if it's just because I have a product on my skin. So it looks more moist and dewy, but I mean, it feels nice, so that's a plus. We're gonna be using the very last and final product that I received at the Olay event. This is a brand new Olay Whips in a fragrance-free formula. So they previously released the Olay Whips line last year, and apparently everybody loved it, but they wanted um, the same formulation without any fragrance for anybody who is sensitive to fragrances, so that's what they released here. I picked up the Total Effects one, and this has SPF 25 in it because I don't have additional sunscreen on me right now. Thankfully, the sun is setting, so by the time we get home, it's gonna be dark, but this will help for any sort of additional SPF protection I'm gonna need for the day before the sun sets. So let's open this up. This is tight, not open, guys. So when you first open it right here, you have a little pull tab that takes it off, and let's give it a quick sniff to see if it actually is fragrance free. I don't smell any like obvious fragrances, though there is a very slight type of SPF scent to it. If you ever apply sunscreen, then you'll know that sunscreen type of smell. It's not overly strong though, so I wouldn't be too concerned. I mean, it is only SPF 25, it's not like it's an SPF 60 or anything, and I don't know if the higher the SPF, the stronger the smell, but it doesn't smell too bad. I also forgot to mention, the box for this one is much more appropriate sizing-wise for the container, although I still think that Olay can minimize these containers because it's so big in the packaging. But this is supposed to be the ultimate nourishment without weight. It fights early signs of aging for a light as air finish, uniquely whipped with active moisture to transform on skin for quick absorption and breathable feel. I like it when your skin absorbs the product quickly. When I applied this, I kind of felt like I could hear bubbles popping, and I don't know if that's from the bubbles being whipped into the lotion or if it's just my mind playing crazy tricks on me, or if that actually is what's happening. But it was a nice, cool feeling. It did absorb relatively quickly, and it does have like a kind of matte finish, although I can still feel a little bit of like an oily residue. I, but I do know that it's oil-free, so that's definitely not it. It might be just the moisturizing properties to it. There for sure is that SPF smell when you immediately apply it. So that same smell you get when you're applying sunscreen, although it's not too major, nothing crazy, it's nothing bad. You like the finish of it. It's very soft, hydrating, and moisturizing. So that's the Olay Whips. I'm gonna keep using it for the next few days to see if it helps really even out my skin tone as it says it's supposed to. And then we'll see how I feel with it. Glasses back on, hair back down. Let's talk about the products really quickly so I can give you guys my final thoughts. I recommended them. Obviously, I haven't been using them for too long. I probably wouldn't give really like accurate thoughts on it until I've had roughly at least a minimum of two weeks to really try the products. But first off impressions um, from the face wipes. I like that the face wipes are dry, so you're never really worried about bringing around packages that may potentially dry out if you have like a leak in it and the liquid's leaking out or the air is seeping in to dry out your face wipes. I know that's a problem that I have a lot when I'm traveling and I use face wipes that have like those kind of sticky covers that you replace them back on. And then the constant repetition of like pulling it and closing it really dries out the uh, wipes quite a bit. Most of the time we have quite a bit of access to liquids and water, so I think it's great that they formulated a dry wipe version. And this will be great for traveling. If you don't want to bring the entire container, you don't have to. You can take it out of it and just leave it in its pink packaging, though I do think it's probably best if you transfer like a couple wipes into a Ziploc bag and bring that with you so that you have something that seals it tight and then there's no transfer of like dirty stuff getting into your wipes if you just bring the pink one around. Moving on to the clay stick mask. I loved how easy the application was and how really hands-free it was, so I wasn't getting a lot of gunk on my fingers. What I didn't like was that the surface area was way too wide, so it made it difficult for me to fully attack all the contours of my face, especially my nose um, on the sides and my nose bridge there. You may or may not have this problem if your face is shaped differently, but definitely something to think about. I do wish that they were offering the full range in Canada, and that's unfortunate that they're not. So if I ever get a chance to go to the US, I'm gonna see if I can pop into like an Ulta or Target somewhere to pick up the other colors and the different masks that they have. Would I recommend it? I think yes. It's a great, fun, cool novelty product to bring with you on a trip just because it's so easy to apply and you're not worried about it falling off and clipping everywhere. I do like that it didn't make your skin feel dry afterwards as well too and it wasn't cracking all over the place. Um, would I use it as an everyday mask? I don't know. I'm mean, gonna really have to use it a lot more to see if it's something that I would recommend using on a constant basis. But as a first impression, I think it was great. The design and the thought process that went to it was phenomenal. There's definitely gonna be some tweaking that could be improved on it, such as the packaging, but overall it was great and I would recommend that one. The facial mist. So I really, truly love the facial mist. I think that the atomizer dispersed the product really evenly over my face. It didn't feel like it was a 
part spritz and it wasn't too gentle of a spritz either. It felt like most of the product landed relatively well on my face. I didn't need that many spritz, but I did go kind of overboard because I like to get generous with my face. The smell was very invigorating and definitely felt energizing. The citrus smell kind of like woke me up a little bit as to whether or not I do feel energized or my skin feels energized. I'm not too sure. Like I said, this is going to be another product that's going to require a lot more of a long-term commitment to really see if it comes through on what it says it's supposed to do. But overall, I would recommend it and I truly love that one and I definitely will be using that every single day. Second last product is the eye cream. That one I liked as well too, although we know again that I was not too happy with the packaging just because I think there was way too much for that small container and it definitely could be cut down to at least two-thirds of what the packaging originally was. I like the application. It was really easy to apply. There was no sticky after effect to it. It absorbed relatively quickly and it was like a smooth finish. My skin felt really hydrated around the area as well too and there was no crazy scent other than the kind of like burnt one scent to it which was nice and refreshing and it went away relatively quickly so it's not bugging my nose. I know a lot of the times we have issues with moisturizers and eye products sitting really close to our nose and really giving us irritation throughout the day if it's really scented. So that one was not and it went away relatively quickly if fragrance is your concern. The last and final product I want to touch on today is the Olay Whips in the Total Effects formula that I got. It definitely is fragrance free um, in terms of any additional fragrances. It's not fragrance free if you're talking about the SPF aspect of it. If you don't like sunscreen, you're not going to really enjoy the smell of this product that much just because it has a strong sunscreen smell. I know there's another formula that's also fragrance free as well too, but it's also SPF free. So if you want to give the fragrance free formulas a try, make sure you pick that one up. I think that one's going to be in a red container. I forget the name of that one. But there's no SPF in it at all. So it shouldn't smell like sunscreen. And from what I gathered, that was the only scent that I could really pick up from the product. So you might be able to get a completely fragrance free product if you try that one out. Do I like it? It gave me a really matte finish, which is what it claimed, but there is like a slight kind of oily slick feeling to it even though there is no oil in the product so i don't know if i like that too much i'm gonna have to definitely try the product a little bit more to see if i truly love it two, two weeks time from now i think it's performing its claims fairly decently at the moment it dried down matte it was very easy and quick to absorb and there was no actual fragrance in it which is great would i necessarily recommend it not too sure it was great so far but it's not a moisturizer that i've completely fallen in love with with some of the products such as the facial mist or the eye cream so a little hesitant to say about that one i'll report back by the end of the month once i've given all these products more of an in-depth try and test to see if they truly are worthwhile spending your money on other than that thank you so much for tuning into my video today guys i had a lot of fun doing my skincare routine in the car that took me a lot longer than i typically do just because i was verbalizing all of my thoughts and going through all the different products and the pros and cons the whole time that was kind of neat though to really try out and test products to see if they would fare well without a sink and i've always been curious of that especially when you're traveling since it's not easy to have access to a bathroom but you'll more frequently have access to a water bottle i think they all proved relatively decently well in terms of performance wise as to how well they held up not having a sink whether or not the products themselves actually stand up to their claims is going to be a completely different story but i will be back in a month's time to let you guys know what i think about that thank you so much again for watching if you guys haven't already joined the family i would love it if you subscribed i would also love if you gave this video a big thumbs up to let me know if these are the types of videos you'd like to see in the future if you guys have any other ideas please make sure to let me know in the comments down below as i love being able to read what you guys would like to see from me and i think many of you guys have already begun to do that so thank you very much and until next time i hope you guys have a great day and enjoy your week bye